Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the Cam Mac Adventures segment, Bibbidi Bobbidi Bartender. This is where I teach you how to make your very own Disney cocktails from home. Lately, we've been making our way around the world showcase at Epcot on some of the most popular drinks you can enjoy while at the park. This week is one of my favorite places to stop and if you couldn't tell by the greeting, we're going to Japan. The Japan Pavilion is home to some great shopping and dining as well as a couple of my favorite cocktails to enjoy in the parks. First one is going to be the Violet Sake. The next one we're going to do is called the Tokyo Sunrise. Here's what you're going to need to participate if you'd like to follow along. For supplies, you're going to need a cutting board, a knife, cocktail measuring jiggers, a cocktail shaker, a juicer, a hawthorn strainer, a double fine mesh strainer, a bar spoon, and a Yari mixing glass. For raw materials, you will need limes, a lemon, grenadine, pineapple juice, maraschino cherries, simple syrup, and if you don't know how to make it, I'll put a link below teaching you how, and Monin Desert Pear Syrup. For liquors and alcohols, you will need peach schnapps, creme de banana or banana liqueur, coconut rum, and any variety of clear Junmai sake. The first cocktail is called Violet Sake. It is just as easy to drink as it is to make, so let's start by juicing up some limes. So what you're going to do is start by cutting your lime lengthwise, carefully, and in a separate container, you're going to juice both sides of the lime so you can effectively measure out half an ounce of lime juice for the cocktail. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is start by pouring a half ounce of lime juice into a Yari mixing glass or if you have a Pyrex or mixing bowl, you're fine to do that too. Now it's important to note that in the actual recipe at the park, they use a cordial called Rose's Lime Juice. It's not exactly fresh lime juice, so I included fresh lime juice in this recipe because not only will it taste better, it's also going to taste a lot fresher. So start out with half an ounce of lime juice and pour that into your Yari mixing glass or mixing bowl. I always say to start with the least expensive ingredients first, that way if you mess up the recipe, you're not wasting any sake or alcohol. So what you're going to do is now grab your desert pear syrup by Monin and we're going to put an ounce into the cocktail. I love the color of this drink already. And now, what you're going to need is three ounces of your Junmai Clear Sake. Now you can always put a little bit more sake if you'd like, but just be careful because this stuff is a lot stronger than it tastes. Now you're going to need some ice. So take about a full cup of ice, put it into the glass, and use a bar spoon to stir it for about 25 revolutions. Now I have a rule I always tell people, if it has citrus, shake it. That is a little bit different for this drink. The reason is that the drink in the parks is very clear. In order to keep it as clear as possible but still be delicious and cold, I recommend stirring this one. Now it's time to prepare your garnish. So what you're going to need is a lemon. Place it lengthwise and carefully cut it in half. Now with the lemon facing sideways, go ahead and cut yourself a nice wheel of lemon because it's going to have a nice, fresh, and beautiful garnish. Your lemon wheel should look a little bit like this. Now we're ready to serve the drink. So what we're going to do is strain and double strain the beverage to keep all the unwanted ice chips out. Now what you're going to do is place that lemon right on top of the cocktail, and you have one delicious violet sake. Cheers! This tastes just like the park, and I'm gonna drink so many of these, trust me. So before I go way too far on violet sakes, it's time to make the next drink. We're gonna start with our mixing tin, and this is a shaken cocktail because it does have juice. Other than the first drink we did, you should always shake a juice cocktail. We're gonna start with three ounces of pineapple juice. So go ahead and get your pineapple juice ready and put three ounces into the cocktail. Now this is one of my favorite types of drinks because it's really easy to remember. It's called a 1-1-1 cocktail, which means that everything is equal parts. One ounce, one ounce, one ounce. So what we're going to do is start with one ounce of banana liqueur. Follow that with one ounce of coconut rum. And finally, one ounce of peach schnapps.
All that's left is to shake. So go get some ice, come on back, and let's shake this cocktail. Turn the ice on into the shaker, give it a tap, and make sure it's secure. Now we're gonna shake for 10 seconds. 10 Mississippi, 10 Mitsukoshi, 10 I Love Sake, whatever you want. Just shake it, knowing that family and friends are the only ones around to judge you right now. Let's get to it. All right, all that's left to do is serve this one. So what we're gonna do is get a full pint glass of ice, strain and double strain the cocktail, just like this. And now we garnish. The reason this drink is called a sunrise, just like a sunset, is that it has the nice ombre look to it. And the way to create that is to take your grenadine, place your spoon upside down on the side, and run the grenadine down into the cocktail. Just like that. For garnish, you're gonna need a maraschino cherry. So grab your spoon, place a cherry right in the center, and now you have one beautiful Tokyo sunrise. Enjoy, cheers. That's a good one too. Well there you have it, two of the most popular and delicious cocktails in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. Stay tuned next week as we explore more of the World Showcase. If you have any questions or would like to see any specific Disney cocktails prepared on the show, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show support. Make sure you're also subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any future updates, cocktail lessons, or adventures. I'm Cam Mack, and until next time, sayonara.